I knew you'd be here early. You always were an overachiever. You here to demand your rematch? Because I have no problem beating you again tonight. There's not gonna be a rematch. You're giving up that easily? No, there's not going to be a rematch because you're going to announce your retirement tonight. <laughs> That's news to me. It's why I wanted to find you first thing, so you could start writing your big farewell speech. But that kind of emotional garbage should actually come easily to you. I mean, if you get stuck, you could just borrow something from your earlier writing. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Love always, your mom and dad. That's right. I found out you wrote that little piece of fiction kicking off 20 years of lies to your best friend. His real parents are dead, and you've been stringing him along this entire time, making him think they're alive just so you'd have one friend in your depressing life. You never told him the truth, even when he continued to pathetically leave two empty seats for them that would never be filled. Why? Why are you doing this? The why doesn't really matter. Right now, you should be more concerned with the what, as in what could happen next. I could expose you and all your lies, destroying your life, your reputation, and most of all, your friendship with Trey. Or you can retire immediately and I'll make your secret my secret. But one way or another, it's happening tonight. I know walking away from everything you've worked for will be the hardest thing you've ever done, but you have to keep our secret. Please. <laughs> And that's how I won the WWE Divas Championship, crossing off one of the most Look, elusive Sam, things on the list. I, but the, the Divas me. Championship that's wasn't them. just a title. That's my mom and dad. It was more than that. It was... Uh, uh, sorry, I, I think something amazing just happened. Uh, earlier today, I received a note saying I would finally get to meet my birth parents at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight, and I, I think they just arrived. I don't know I, what's I, happening I apologize either. if I'm a little distracted. Who are those just, people? I've been waiting for this, this moment my entire life. We're, we're almost done here, so I'll catch up with you real soon, okay? Uh, sorry, again, for cutting you off. Where were you? Uh, there's n really not much left to say, other than to cover how we ended up here tonight. When I defeated my lifelong nemesis to capture this championship, the same championship I dreamed of winning as a young girl, it was an amazing feeling. But after that wore off, I was consumed by a range of different emotions, ones that I hadn't felt in a very long time. Satisfaction, relief, peace of mind, the fire, that drove me throughout my career to come out here and fight on a nightly basis was suddenly gone. I went from thinking, what's next, to what's left. And I realized that after crossing off the most elusive item on the list, the answer was not much because I accomplished everything I set out to do and way more. So I had to be honest with myself. If I kept going, everything after would feel like a letdown. And that's not how I wanna live my life or remember my career. So with all that being said, I'm here tonight to relinquish the Divas Championship and announce my retirement from WWE effective immediately. Is this actually happening? Unfortunately, I, I think it is. Now, I know this is probably shocking and some of you might be disappointed or upset, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've lived this part of my life to the fullest, and 
Now it's time for me to go explore other challenges. And who knows? Maybe I'll try acting again. You all saw how my only other audition went. Can't go worse than that, right? <laughs> Finally, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me for all these years. Please continue to back the next women who take my place, who I am certain will be stronger, more athletic, and hopefully a little less temperamental than I was. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everyone. really sure what to say. I'm stunned. I think we all are. Uh, no one was expecting this. Uh, thank you, Red. Yes, thank you. And we wish you all the best. What was that? You can't retire. You've got years left on your career. I'm sorry, but I need you to try to understand. Maybe I could wrap my head around it if I had a little more warning. I mean, when you texted me, make sure you watch my promo tonight, I was expecting you had some clever line about Brooklyn, not that you were going to walk away from WWE. This wasn't something I was planning for a long time. It happened quickly. Okay, fine. But if you're done, then I'm done. We're a package deal, remember? No, what? Don't do this. I need you to try to understand. What about the title shot you just earned in the Royal Rumble? I'm getting revenge on Samoa Joe for everything he's done. None of that matters if you're not along for the ride too. You need to think about this some more. You're making an impulsive decision. I've made up my mind. I'm done. I never expected my plan to work this well and cause your idiot friend to retire too. It's like getting rid of two turds with one stone. This isn't over. But it is over. And that's the best part of all of this. Anyway, just wanted to wish you a happy early retirement. Maybe you can take up bingo or going to dinner at 3 p.m. or yelling at kids in your neighborhood. If you kick that ball in my yard one more time, I'm going to put you on my list. <laughs> Hilarious. See you, uh, never again.